It took a little bit of doing, but we got the trailer up in the shop. I've been needing to widen this trailer for quite a while. And so we will be, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, so we'll be doing it. I'll cut it, I'll cut it right down the center. Cut all the braces, axle, everything down the center. Right up to there and uh, weld in five and a half inches. I've got a 60 inch cut zero turn and this is a uh, the trailer measures 59 inches wide inside to inside and then the the mower deck is it's a 60 inch cut but it's actually 62 i think or 63 inches outside to outside so we've got to make this trailer just wide enough to fit it up in and i'm going to be doing some work his tongue is i don't know if you can tell the tongue's bent but oh, i'm going to have to cut it to redo the tongue anyway so we'll uh, we'll be doing some I don't know what we'll be doing anyway tomorrow will be interesting it'll be fun but like I said it was fun trying to trying to get it up in here but we didn't pour an apron because this is not this is supposed to be a woodworking shop we'll be putting a little porch out here a four foot wide porch but we wanted it where we could just back up to it and drop a tailgate and carry lumber in. We're not supposed to really be using it for doing what we're doing here. But uh, anyway, we needed somewhere in out of the rain. I had a needed. I was needing to get this thing done. I've got a couple of couple of jobs coming up where this trailer was just a little bit too narrow. So I thought I might as well just go ahead and do it tomorrow instead of just having a rain day in the house. So we got the welder torch, the chop saw over here. Um, I'll have to go get the plasma cutter and get it over here. And then run a power wire down here. We don't have power at the shop yet, but we'll get a power wire down here um, temporarily so we can hook up and get everything cut. But it ought to be fun. All right, we're back down here at the shop today. We're going to be cutting this front um, piece of strap off so we can get the boards up out of here. Well, I got to cut the fair lead off the off the winch set up there and get these boards out so we can start rebuilding this old trailer. We got this pried up, got the strap up. Let's see if we can get a board up. That may be. That may be interesting. I don't know if they're screwed down or. Appear to be. I'll just have to find a. Oh, I've got a flat bar here somewhere.
close. Sweep up one more time here. And we'll start measuring and marking and cutting. We will see. I think that'll work just fine. Might as well. We'll cut this thing in half, and then uh, I'll take this angle after cut it in half, and we'll clamp it on both sides and weld it back over the over the joint. All right, we're gonna measure across here. Inside to inside, we've got 59 and three quarters. Fifty nine and three quarters. Outside to outside sixty inches. So somewhere in here. 30 inches is going to be so it don't have to be absolutely precise cutting Pretty dead on. All right, we can cut this thing in half. All except the front. Going to the tongue. Let me get you and I'll show you what we're gonna have to do there. Right here on this joint, we're going to cut that. We'll have to extend this piece here. We'll have to put a six inch extension on it. So we'll have to uh, come in and cut, cut all these welds loose to do that. But otherwise, we uh, Otherwise, we'll have our center line down through there. I don't know if you can see it up on that. Yeah, you can see it up through there. And we will start cutting. Puppy, you're not going to want to lay there.
Well, now I've went and did it. I don't know if it's too late to go back or not. This might get interesting. now completely blew this thing apart and now we've got to go dig through the scrap yard and look for some some angle iron to uh, extend everything and put this all back together and then we've got to run a power wire down here from the power pole so we can get 220 power down here Anyway, we'll be back. 